All right, so uh, what was it? Back in the winter time, we uh, went over to your place, went through your whole safe, did a video. Viewers might remember that. If you uh, haven't seen it, go check it out. Went through Brent's safe. Brent's a class three dealer, uh, which means he can uh, basically sell about anything. Full yeah. auto, suppressed I uh, suppressors, uh, Short barrels. Short barrel rifles, uh, and he's a great, great guy to know because he can really hook you up with some awesome, awesome, fun stuff. And believe it or not, this stuff is legal, so you are uh, with the right paperwork and a guy like him, you can have some fun like this as well. So, Brent, tell us a little bit about this again uh, for those that didn't see the first video. Okay, so this one is an Action Arms IMI Uzi. It uh, is full auto. And on the end, you can see the big suppressor. It's got an AWC uh, suppressor on it, so it keeps it pretty quiet when you run subsonic ammo. That is too sexy. Now, these are made in Israel, right? Yes, this one is a uh, pre-86 dealer sample. So it is an authentic sub gun. It was not a conversion, and it is Israeli made. Unlike the transferables, many of those are either conversions or they're made in the U.S. by Group Industries or Vector. You're a fan of, uh, you know, the old '80s movies, Rambo, you know, things like that. You grew up seeing these on TV. Cool part about this one, you'll notice right here. The action is open, so we're safe. You've got your select fire so this is actually the first full auto weapon that i've ever shot really yeah well enjoy it yeah so you got to tell me how to do this now this fires from an open bolt open correct? bolt yep so all you'd have to do is hold that grip safety in, in the rear and then pull it's ready to go the trigger and yeah. run it all right let's give it a try here let her fly <laughs> I get the full effect of the sound. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Sweet. All right. Let's get this done. What have you been shooting at out there? Just anything? Yeah. There's some milk jugs out there. You can shoot at. Just like that. You got to hold the grip safety in the charger. Back. You dump your magazine out. Very sweet. Yeah, that's that doesn't recoil much at all. No. I was leaning into it, knowing that it was gonna you know, push back, but that is impressive and quiet. Wow. Now this this can. Uh, last time we did the video, you said it kind of is unique. It doesn't have rubber, uh, not baffles, but it doesn't have. Uh, no, this one's all stainless. This is a. That's a heavy duty can. Okay. Yeah, you could probably frame it. Huh, it is big. Yeah. Give it that. Much, much larger than most you see anymore. It is. It's kind of retro. It goes with the, the styling of the Uzi. It fits, right? Yeah. Back before they were really trying to make it sexy, they were just trying to make it quiet. Yeah. They definitely accomplished that. So that is cool. I like a lot of stuff. Yeah. No surprise there. All right, let's shoot some other stuff before it gets totally dark. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. That was awesome. Out here? Yep, right about there. Alright, here we go. Alright, Brent, what do you got there? We uh, talked about that when we did our other video as well. What do you got? This is a Steyr AUG. This is the original Austrian made. Uh, Steyr AUG A2. Fires a 5.56, and then I've adapted a Silencer Co. Saker suppressor to the end of it. And what's unique about that? You don't normally see them that short. The Steyr AUG is a bullpup, so the uh, the barrel is actually all the way back to here. And if I twist that off, you can see how short it is. Huh, and is it an SBR or is it a full 16 inch? This is a full 16 inch with the permanently attached flash hider. So you don't even need a tack stamp for that, it's not an SBR. For the, for the AUG, and then I have a tack stamp obviously for the suppressor. And that just slips on and ratchets down. Beautiful. Well, let's hear it. Got this little built-in uh, four power optic or three power optic? 1.5 power optic. Huh. Getting a little more noise since we're right here by the uh, port. But yeah, that's, that is slick. Very cool. Fun little gun, nice and compact. 
And, Very uh, space age. Yeah, kind of unique. Ahead of its time when they designed it back in the mid 60s, I believe it was. Really? Yeah. I was thinking it was the 80s, but holy cow. No, he's been around for a little while. Huh. Very cool. We finally got to see it shoot. Sinker 760 looks like. All right, Jim, tell us what you're shooting. Uh, I'm actually not really sure, but it's a desert, or not a desert tech, a uh, Danny LaFence uh, M4 full auto uh, with a South Coast Saker 762. Light on that baby. There's a little pin right there. It's pretty sweet. Right there. Ah, that means a little something special. That means okay. she be full auto. Should we do it? Step back just a little bit. All right, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Yeah. They can taste it. That's pretty fun. Sick. I just got mace, I think. Touch it? Let's touch it. Yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> it's pretty quiet, too. Yeah, that's that's way quiet. Yeah. Beautiful. Bring that thing up here. Let's see it. Get up close to here. I'll show you the... Let's do this. That's a Saker. Saker 762. Oh, that's a different one. Oh, okay. And that is not a very heavy, heavy barrel, either. No. Daniel Defense. Let's see that select fire. Let's do the other side. Let's do this. Let's point down range. Ooh. I'll do this. There it is. Daniel Defense. Yeah. Very cool. It's a good time. Too bad it's not light outside. All right. So tell us, tell us first of all what you're shooting there. All right, we've got a 300 blackout on a 11-inch Nevesky upper, uh, full auto lower, and we've got a Sandman long on here. Beautiful. So let's go semi auto first. In the dark. Hit something out there. All right, okay. whoever's ready. It's safe. All right. <laughs> if you have to. I'll close my pocket. All safe? Can we double the first? Toasty? A little bit. Subs, not, not too bad. Yeah. Look at there's like stars out there. I can't see them. <laughs> that is cool. Bring it in close, Jim. Recognize that rail. Vanguard. Pretty sweet. May I? Yeah, please do. <laughs> I'll take it. I thought you were fine. Fun. Go. PMR 30. Rice's piece, so let's see what it is. Old 22 mag, 30 round, round magazine. 30 round magazine. Probably gonna do a little flash. Woo! Safety right there, yeah. That's a lot better. A little bit of muzzle flash, a little bit. just a little bit. That's a really nice trigger, actually. Yeah, it's very light. Pretty cool. Whole dang gun is light. I think you need to get a threaded barrel. It's on the way, baby. Personally. Then Brent's got me a adapter. A little sparrow on there. That's sweet. Pretty cool.
All right, we got Neil from Ready Gunner. And he is holding a rather interesting piece. What is this? This is a Spikes Tactical ST15 upper with just a generic uh, full auto lower. Just a generic full auto lower. Not really anything that cool. Now tell me about this upper. I mean, that's kind of wild looking. What is this thing? So this is Spikes Tactical, uh, like I said, ST15. It's their integrated suppressor. This thing actually will unthread and come off. But it's about a four and a half inch barrel with their suppressor on it. So you got a pigtail gas system or what, what is that? A piston. barrel looks... It's a piston. It's a piston, okay. Yeah. Interesting. That's very, very interesting. So All right. It's a press, but it's still, it's still got some sound to it. I would I think so. <laughs> well, let's find out. I ain't scared. Try to get rained on. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've been doing it all night. <laughs> Par for the course. That was six feet well. Nope. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Sometimes a sure fire six round magazine you just can't keep up with it. I noticed. That's it. That's a fast rate of fire. Yeah. <laughs> A little Pretty bit. Fun little gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anybody want to shoot it? Uh huh. Uh huh. Me. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm not. <laughs> All right. So I got uh, the Spikes Tactical. Uh, which one was it again? You say? ST15. ST15 <laughs> flamethrower, as I call it. <laughs> we have a ton of rounds here. We got a few. I couldn't uh, couldn't go home. I love that. Couldn't go home without. Having a chance of shooting this sucker, so. Pop at the end. That is too cool. That is so <laughs> sick. ST compressor. That is something else. What does that upper run, Neil? Uh, I don't know if they sell the upper independently now. The whole firearm itself is like $24.99. And it actually requires two tack stamps because it's a short barrel, and since the silencer is removable, you got to do one for the silencer and the short barrel. Gotcha. So that's the only downside of that gun. Yeah, that was sweet. Yeah. Uh, very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking A. I love you guys. I want to hear that silence. Yeah. All right, Brent, what is this crazy looking thing? This is my short barrel CZ 455 and 22 with a Gemtech suppressor tucked into the stock. <laughs> How long is that barrel? I think it's nine, no, about nine inches. And then I've got a six to 30 Minox scope on it. Jeez. So this is a very common rifle we shoot in the 22 Marksman Challenge. But uh, you've taken it and uh, you've taken it to another just level. Let's just, let's just say that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you've gotten a little crazy. It's oh. quiet. Well, let's hear it. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. That'd be really cool. Jeez. Have you chronoed it? I have not chronoed it. Well, something else. There's nowhere to put it. <laughs> 